So I wanted to make a video showing off the um, glow aquarium that I have because in my last video I had showed it off and all of you guys were commenting and like saying that um, oh we'd like to see like you know the aquarium and stuff and I just got like so many comments and it was like very overwhelming and here is the video that no one fucking requested <laughs> so um this, these are my this is first of all just um a simple little glow aquarium it has like really cool glow um things and it's neon and actually like I have this lamp too and I really love like neon things so this aquarium was perfect like we have the light panels and then we have this and then we have this neon aquarium so I set this up about a week ago um it's doing really good I also have like a bubbler in there but I had um I also have a female beta in here and she likes to hide there she is she likes to hide out and I found that the bubbler um made her uh, have a hard time swimming because betas aren't the strongest swimmers so I turned off the bubbler for now. I don't think I'll have it back on. I mean, these my, these are glowfish, and they are, um, to my knowledge, tetras. Um, and they are genetically modified with coral. They splice the DNA um, of a few fish, and then they're actually born that way. So they ha there have been glowfish in the past that were actually painted and like injected with dyes and horrible chemicals and it's just very sad uh these ones are natural well not natural they're gmo'd um yeah and then they're just like really cool to look at from like across the room i named them after the powerpuff girls obviously that's bubbles that's buttercup and that's blossom and then this here is little mojo jojo <laughs> he's a little dwarf frog he's so cute he usually hides out in the hut he likes to croak a lot. He sings. He's not singing right now. Um, yeah. So, this is just my little aquarium. I wanted to show it off. And here's my beta. I haven't really named her yet, but I'm going to let my boyfriend name her because he wanted to name all these other fish, like, different things. So, and I was like, that's weird. So, I was like, no. I'm naming them after the Powerpuff Girls. So, the little beta up there. She's really happy, too. And then one thing that's really cool... It's like, I have this um, food, I don't know if you can see. It's Glowfish Special Flake Food, and it's really cool. I'll show you why. Just give me a second to show you. And that's like a little bit of my mushroom decorum. And I'm just gonna take out some of this food and show you what I, how it's cool. You guys are probably thinking, how can fish food be cool? Well, I'm gonna show you the second. I mean, I'm stalling a lot because I have a really hard time getting this food out in a right proportion because I don't want to overfeed because I'm a lazy fucker and I don't really want to, um... Oh, he knows what's coming. Look at that girl. He knows it's coming, honey. He's like, are you gonna feed me or not? Nah? Because y'all be talking way too motherfucking much. Okay, so the food is cool. Because if I put it in and it starts to disperse, it actually starts to glow. How weird is that? The food is glowing. And I just think it's really crazy. And like, that's a green one. He has green eyes. It's really creepy. I, may, I thought maybe he wouldn't be able to see, but he actually can see. And it's um very interesting. Of course, the, the camera won't focus because he's so fucking fast. But, oh, look, there's my little Mojo Jojo. Hey, girl. <laughs> so cute. Where is the beta? Hmm. It seems to be lost. My frog is really active, and what I really like about this aquarium is it um, I put a heater in it so that it stays at 25 degrees, which is, I believe, perfect temperature for them. They're very active. They're not cold at all. Um, and I'm very proud of the fact that I have a heater in there because when I was growing up, 
I had betta fish all the time and I would never have a heater for it and I would go to school and I'd feel so bad the water would be so cold and touching it would be colder than the room temperature so I felt so so bad I would put a blanket and I would wrap it around the aquarium and that never really helped um, <laughs> but now that I have a warmer in there it just makes me so happy to know how happy my fish are and I know that they're happy because they're always swimming about and these these neon glow fish they're actually schooling fish so they have to be in a group of three or more or else they're just not very happy and then oh my beta she's actually behind the filter i don't know why she's hiding there's food she hides but um she's actually not like scared she's she always chases the other fish around because she's a little bully but yeah this has been um a six minute long video of someone talking in a very fake voice about their aquarium that they are passionate about. And I hope that you enjoyed because my throat is about to give out um, from talking like this. So have a good day. Um, happy Hanukkah and Merry Easter. And may God be with you all, honey.